Hello traders, welcome back to the channel. This is Vishal and I would like to wish all of you a very happy Independence Day today. I hope all of my videos which I'm sharing in a week, around uh, three to four videos I share in a week, on weekends I share the weekly sectoral analysis, in weekdays I share the Nifty and Bank Nifty short term view and apart from the index I also share my views on uh, a few of the stocks which I like as positional or swing picks. So I hope my efforts are helping you to understand the market a bit better, the way it's going to move. And it will be a lot of motivating for me if I find out that you people after watching the videos, if you're subscribing to it and you're getting a lot of help from it because that is why I'm making these videos for all of you. Okay. So let's start today's video about the Nifty and Bank Nifty short term view. Now, if you remember on Sunday, when I shared the weekly sectoral analysis, I clearly said that the short term trend is on the downside in the early time frame charts, but the daily time frame chart, the trend is flat. And if you check the weekly time frame chart, the trend is still up. But there is a lot of, you can say, uh, psychological differentiation between 20,000 mark and somewhere around at uh, 19,300 because some sort of buying is emerging uh, around this 19,000 to 19,250, 19,250 and 19,200 mark. And there is a lot of selling coming up at 20,000, which is the psychological level actually. And you can see one candle over here, which is inverted hammer and one is hammer possibly a couple of weeks back. Now in the weekly time frame chart, the trend is up. And once again, let me go to the daily time frame chart. And if you remember in my previous video, I had clearly stated that the zone from 19300 to around 19200, uh, this entire zone of 100 points is a very decent support, very strong support for the markets for multiple reasons. Now, obviously, one of the reason, one of the reason is in the early time frame chart, this is the low. All right, I'll just try to highlight it for all of you. This is the previous low in the early time frame charts. And if you can see, the hourly candle has not been able to close below that. That is the first reason. The second biggest reason in the daily time frame chart, if you can see, in the, in the weekly and the daily, both in fact. And to make it more clear, you can see this is the 23.6% Fibonacci retracement from this entire rally. It started in mid-March and made a high in possibly mid-July. So this is the first retracement, 23.6. And since the swing is very big, this support is considered extremely important. And if you check, there is a weekly gap. Generally, weekly gaps are pretty rare on charts. You'll see gaps in hourly or lower time frame charts and maybe on even on daily time frame chart. But finding a weekly chart gap is pretty rare. But we do have one over here. All right. So this gap is very close to that 23.6% Fibonacci retracement. So that is the reason it has even more importance. And the price action, which has been evident in yesterday's market, is a hammer. Now, <clears throat> apart from this hammer, if I just try to highlight this entire zone, how many candles are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine candles. And out of these nine candles, I'll just try to, oops, I'll just try to, Sorry, I'll just try to highlight this. See this, this is the first candle, all right? Now this is the second candle, third. So now out of this one, two, three, four, two are hammers. Okay, this is the third, this is a hammer. This is also a hammer, four, five. This is also a hammer and six. Again, this is also a hammer. So out of nine candles, six candles are hammers, which is very, very surprising. Now, it could happen that someone will think, okay, we have hit a bottom and we'll go up from here. Fine. It's very easy to understand when you uh, see the weekly time frame chart, possibly not even the daily time frame chart. That is fine. But if you check the shorter term time frame chart, we are still in a Dow theory downtrend because we are still making lower highs and lower lows. So first thing is we have to make a first higher low or first higher high. Either of this thing is made as a pattern in the early time frame charts, things will change. And obviously, if you can check properly, this zone in the early time frame chart is of a pretty good resistance zone from 19500 to possibly 19450. 
or maybe even bigger if you want bigger levels than 19400 so this is a pretty big resistance in terms of short term traders so we need to understand yes this is a good step that the markets have bounced back from the important support but a lot of work has to be done by the shorter term charts to you know probably uh, change the entire state of trend in the hourly and the daily time frame charts and generally it is more easier to make money for the short term traders when the short term charts are properly aligned with the medium term charts like hourly time frame charts and daily time frame charts when both of them are showing an uptrend say for example i will try to highlight an example if you see this zone if you see this particular zone all right this entire zone is this so making money over here was super easy why because the momentum was there and the trend was up in the daily and in the hourly and in the daily time frame charts but over here it is not the same over here the daily time frame chart the trend is flat and in the hourly time frame chart currently the momentum is on the downside but the trend has now become flat so we need to have an uptrend in the hourly and daily daily time frame chart both so we'll have to wait and see what happens in the next few days okay now coming to the bank nifty bank nifty <clears throat> is a little bit more weaker than the daily time frame chart and the reason for that is surprisingly bank bank nifty could not sustain uh, from and bounce back from this 23.60 percent retracement especially due to the PSU banking charts, which is the SPI and couple of private banking stocks. What has happened is uh, just on Friday, we had a breakdown. Then on Monday, we went all the way down till you can say 43,777. But in the early time frame chart, we had this 261.80 percent Fibonacci extension due to which we have been able to bounce back. Now, <clears throat> again, it will be very, very uh, early to say that we have hit a bottom in the bank nifty because even in bank nifty if you check properly the state of trend is still negative this is the previous high this is the low high low uh, you can say maybe even this is a high and this is the low so we need to make a either a higher low first or maybe even surpass this high only then the entire state of uh, trend will change and one thing again like the immediate resistance if you want to know what is the immediate resistance in the bank nifty for short term traders Possibly this is the level. This is around uh, 44,287, 285, 244, 250. Okay. So this is the immediate resistance level for the bank nifty traders who are extremely short term oriented. Okay. Now in the all sectoral indices, one index which can probably help nifty and improve the entire psychology of the market is the IT index, which I have already shared in my weekly sectoral analysis. It has been impressive in going higher and it has been able to fill this gap. But uh, there is one thing which we need to understand. One stock can become a spoiled sport, which it has become in the past multiple, multiple times. And that is Infosys. You can see a gap over here. You can see a gap over here. And the charts are looking extremely pathetic. Okay. If you compare this particular chart to all other IT pack stocks, they are much better. So according to me, we need to understand this particular gap needs to be filled by the price and price needs to continue higher. Because Infosys is a heavyweight and ID pack has a pretty good weightage, pretty decent weightage in Nifty. If uh, these stocks try and rally higher, it will be a lesser damage to Nifty if other sectors try and continue drifting downwards and try to correct right that is what we need to understand as of now uh, again the market is okay the market has been able to bounce back pretty nicely but still things are not clear that we are going to rally or not that we'll be understanding uh, from the price in the next few days and don't try to initiate too many trades until and unless we have some decisive breakouts in the short term charts trade less wait for the price uh, proper price patterns on the shorter term time frame charts and also see that the mother time frame chart which is the daily time frame charts is also showing you some sort of positivity all right trade wisely thank you